we know what's going to happen once you come to come and get it. I started coming to hockey school in um, the summer of 04 in, um, in Augusta, Georgia. It just kept the snowballing and, and going to different cities and pulling off these hockey schools and, and people were like loving our, our idea of three ice sessions. Uh, um, basically we had a different of approach. Come and get at hockey school is evolving so fast. Um, we went from uh, 19 kids to come Monday morning I had a lineup outside the door um, of 50 kids and parents which was amazing. After we get them dressed, they go on for a power skating session. Uh, we go over different skills, crossovers, backwards skating, pivots, stuff that coaches can't spend time on doing um, during a regular season because there's not enough ice time. After that, we'll get off the ice. Um, this year, we had WPI come and help us. We've teamed up with them. They go through the off-ice training. That's changing hockey. If you talk to any pro hockey player, they're doing this in the off-season. That's we're trying to start them out younger so that they'll get better and better. When we were younger, we didn't have those opportunities. Um, they'll go on, get changed, come back on for a puck session. We'll go through skills. We have zones, two instructors per zone. Um, depending on how old you are and what your caliber is, is the type of group you get put in. After that, we have lunch. Once lunch is over, we go to class time. Um, class time is used for the older kids. It's called chalk talk. We talk about you know positional hockey, where you should be. And then we have a game. The game is used for a different number of tools. We want them to go over everything they've learned that day in a typical game because you actually can have, you know, some parent moments and say, oh my lord, like this guy wasn't doing tight turns on Monday and I just watched him go around a kid on a tight turn. So all those type of things we look, and then we have our coaches, we put the music, we bring in referees, we want it to be a game like atmosphere. And when the parents walk in, they leave and they're all happy because they've accomplished everything in one day. No matter how hard you market something, what I'm finding out and learning is, is that it's all word of mouth. And if you're good to the kids and you're good to the parents and your instructors are happy and the kids are happy, that means you have happy parents. We're always learning and I think just telling parents and being honest with them and saying, you know, I don't know everything there is to know about hockey schools. Our camp isn't the best hockey school in the world, but we're going to try and adapt and learn with everybody to make it the best camp that they could possibly have.